Hey friends, it's Jasmine, and I hope that you all are doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a witchy content creator here on YouTube, and you can check out my links down below to find me elsewhere. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It's good to see you here. I really appreciate all of the likes and shares, all the support. It really means a lot to me and it really helps build this channel. So I just wanted to say thank you for being here. In today's video, I have kind of like a big fat witchy haul. I have stuff from multiple different places and I know that hauls are not for everyone, but I love watching hauls, and when I've posted hauls before, they tend to do well, so I'm assuming that you guys like haul videos too. I'm not really sure what it is about a haul because it's not that I'm like pro-capitalism necessarily, but I feel like it gives me the same feeling of shopping without really spending any money when I watch other people's hauls. And it's just cool to see what people with similar interests to myself are purchasing. So to start with first, I'm going to start with Joanna Lee's Bathology, which every single year when we do our Coven's Retreat down in Brown County, Indiana, we always make sure to stop there because Joanna Lee's Bathology, if you don't know about it, is essentially like an all organic uh, sort of lush or like bath and body works but better. I mean, it's amazing. One of the things that I got, and I get this every year since they've done this, they have these big bathology like tubes, um, which I already have three of these from previous years. And now I have this one. Um, these tubes come with a special. So if you buy, I think it's like, if you buy six, no, if you buy five bath bombs, I think you get the sixth one free. And these fit five bath bombs. So the top of it is like so like that and they fit bath bombs inside and I keep these tubes because I put other bath bombs in them when I'm done using them. It helps store the bath bombs and keep them longer. If you are a ritual bath connoisseur like myself, you know that sometimes we save our bath bombs for that right day or that right occasion. I'm very guilty of saving bath bombs for six plus months because I'm like, no, I got to save that for a particular reason or purpose. I can't just use it, which now that I'm approaching 30, I'm kind of getting to a point in my life where I'm like, you know what? Burn the special candles. Enjoy it. Like use the special soaps and special bath bombs. Enjoy them. So I'm working on that. But one of the things that I have done in my practice that has really helped strengthen not only just my practice, but my psychic abilities and my flight abilities as a witch is ritual baths. And I know not everyone is a bubble bath sort of ghoulie. That's totally fine. I definitely am. So when I go, I kind of stock up for the year. These bath bombs, I think are only about maybe $5 or so, $6-ish per bath bomb. Um, I like to stock up for the whole year. So I get these black bath bombs here. I love these so much. I even included these um, in some of my flight work in my book are the only bath bombs that are really truly pitch black, make the water black that don't leave residue and don't stain the tub. And I'm also not sponsored to say any of this. This is truly, truly how I feel about this product. The scent of these, um, I would say is kind of like a cologne tobacco, pseudo almost kind of masculine, conventionally smelling. It's cologne, tobacco, vanilla. I think it's got like some musk and some woodsy scents in here, um, but you can always add your own oils your own fragrances, your own colognes to your spiritual baths if you so choose to. Um, but I really like the scent of this as just a base. And like I said, it really does make the water pitch black, um, which is hard to find a bath bomb that will do that, that won't leave a mess in your tub that you'll have to clean up later. So really, really like these. Um, Joanna Lee's Bathology does also have an online store. Um, I don't know about international shipping and things like that. I will try to link the shop though in my description bar in case you wanna hop on there and go check out some of the products. I also got some more stuff from Joanna Lee's Bathology as well. So remember how I said, if you buy so many bath bombs from Joanna Lee's Bathology, you get a free one. Well, I had bought 12 black bath bombs because I want to use them on specific lunar cycles each month to sort of keep me on track in my personal practice, my psychic gnosis, and my flights. Well, 
I'm able to get two extra free bath bombs because I had bought the amount of bath bombs I did. So I got these lemongrass um, bath bombs here, which straight up smell like a very bougie sort of spa like lemongrass kind of scent and I got these because I was thinking that these would be really good to take not only as cleansing baths which I feel like the the black baths can be cleansing and protecting as well but I also think that this is going to be a little uplifting um, citrus scents are really good for helping kind of soothe anxieties for myself and and my experience and with aromatherapy there's a reason why spas use a lot of citrus scents. It's because it's uplifting of the spirit and the mood. Um, and it also spiritually is very cleansing and clearing. So I got two of these. Okay, now because my Joanna Lee Bathology haul is from August, the beginning of August, and it is currently the beginning of September, I kind of cheated a little bit with this haul. I usually try to just kind of show what I get before I use it. They have sales on their soaps, which the, the soaps from Joanna Lee's are amazing. Absolutely incredible. I have super sensitive skin and these soaps really are nourishing and hydrating and they have a strong amount of fragrance to it. But even with my sensitive skin, I don't really have any issues. I don't break out. I don't dry out. Nothing like that. Um, and yeah, they're just very, they make your skin feel like you've literally put on lotion when you get out of the bath. They're that hydrating. Um, so I got three because there's also normally a sale on the soaps where if you buy three of them, you get them, I think it's like three for 15. Um, and I think these soaps run like $5 or no, I think they're about seven maybe, because it's a little bit of a deal if you buy three of them. So I think they're maybe $7 a soap bar. Um, but my soaps, I always, always get, which I only have two because I've already started using one. I got a patchouli and sandalwood, which, one of my favorites of theirs. The soap that I am currently using in my bathroom now is their uh, Vanilla Tea Rose. It's so, it's like a rich rosy scent, but without smelling like a funeral home. Um, and then I also just got a straight up cedar wood bar. Um, I really like woodsy. I really like musky, earthy, and floral scents primarily. Occasionally I'll do something kind of citrusy. Um, and I do love like clean linen scents. I mean, I like, I like a lot of it. Some of the artificial scents like, um, Amber Midnight or Love Spell that are patented sort of scents. They do carry those as well if that's your thing. I'm not super into those personally. They kind of give me a little bit of a headache. Maybe it's also some residual like teen trauma from like wearing so much of Victoria's Secret's Love Spell in my youth that now it almost makes me nauseous to smell it. Amazing, amazing. Another place that we always go to on our retreat is a little shop called The Totem Post, which is also in Brown County, Indiana. And one of the things I got, I don't think you can see it super well, so I'll try to include like a clip of it here. So this is a deer antler whistle, which I thought is really cool. And it's from the antlers of white tailed deer, which are native to my local area. And these spirits are spirits that in our coven, we work with seasonally. Um, and the antlers are very symbolic of the shifting of the seasons when they shed their antlers, when they regrow their antlers. It's very much in line and in tune with the seasons. So I wanted to get this and I have it currently on my stang, but yeah, I thought that that was really cool. I think I paid maybe like five bucks for that as well. It wasn't super expensive. And the Totem Post is primarily an indigenous shop that sells a lot of spiritual goods. They have a wide array of like home decor and some sort of kind of new age-esque sort of stuff. It's kind of like diet witchy. I mean, it's definitely like very native inspired, very powwow inspired um, sort of 
requirements. County Indiana kind of passed this weird sort of policy that it's really strict on occult or new age shops. So it's one of the few quote unquote magical shops that you can go to that will straight up sell items that come off as magical. Joanna Lee's Bathology, I use a lot of their products in my practice, but they're not outright a magical shop. They're a bath and cosmetics store. Totem Post is an indigenous spiritual shop and it's definitely worth checking out. This might sound corny to some people, but I am such a sucker for like an old time photograph. And every year since 2017, when our coven kind of started, we have on our retreat gone to this place called the Old Time Photograph or Antique Time Photograph or something like that. And it's one of those places where you dress up with your friends and you get your picture taken. It's fun. It definitely just touches the inner child in me. Um, I loved playing dress up as a kid. So being able to do it as an adult, I really enjoy. So I got this picture taken of us um, and we all got, you know, variations of of these because they take like 20 pictures and then you get to pick from that like what you want. Um, so I'm excited now that I have shown this in this haul because I'm so ready to put it up in a frame up. I'm currently editing this video <laughs> and it's just funny because I remember like we were asking to use the wooden star prop that they had um and like the lady was like oh like that's for like the cowboy shoe and you guys are like townhouse like dance girls. And we were like, yeah, we kind of want to use that. Um, and then we turned it upside down and she was like, oh, like, what are you doing? And we're like, oh, we just, we love stars and astrology and you know, she's like, oh, okay, I understand. I've saved the past seven years worth of photos and it's really, really, I don't know, like it just makes me feel warm to be able to look back and see witches that we have worked with um, in the past and the witches that are still with us and the witches that have moved on. Um, you know, Covenry is not a cult. We're a cult, but we're not a cult, if that makes sense. Um, and Covenry for some witches can be seasonal. And I think that's kind of how it should be. You know, if you're being forced into, if you're being forced into something and not given a way out, to me, that's exactly what makes a cult. And covenry for many people can be a seasonal thing. And I think that's totally okay. Life changes, people change and life happens. People get different jobs or have to move or have babies or whatever, you know, just feel called in a different direction. So I think that looking back at these photos and seeing the witches that are still with us and the witches that aren't with us is actually a beautiful thing. Some people might see that as kind of sad, but to me, it's a true testimony to the spirit of the craft that is very much alive in our initiatory neo-tradition. So the next item I got, I actually got from Amazon, and this is a used book. For those of you who might not know, you can normally get books a little bit cheaper if you're willing to buy them in used condition on Amazon. So that's what I did with this, and this is actually our Indie Witches Book Club current book club pick which the book club is totally free to join. It's just a Facebook group. There's a link down below in my description if you'd like to. We are reading The Witches of New York by Amy McKay. I recently finished this. I have thoughts about it. Overall, I like the book. Um, it is a work of fiction, which I've been reading more fiction since reading Slewfoot, which I just absolutely loved Slewfoot and it really turned me on to reading more witchy fiction. I enjoyed this. It was camp, but it was entertaining. And I am a queen who loves camp. If you're interested in me doing like a full book review on this, I will definitely do that. And then of course, I know this is a little cheesy and corny, but shameless self plug here. I also have my copy of Ambrosia's Book of Witch Flight, which I recently purchased some author copies and I'm intending to send out some signed copies. So if you are interested in a signed copy, please let me know down below. Um, that way I can kind of like estimate how many copies I need to order in my next 
order. Um, but yeah, this is my book, Ambrosia's Book of Witch Flight. And there's a whole playlist here on my channel where you can check out some of the videos I've already made in regards to this work, videos with my editor, videos with my co-host on Daughters of Cain, and some really amazing review videos from other awesome content creators here on YouTube who were kind enough to review my book. So this is available on Amazon. The links are down below. Feel free to go check it out if you're interested in a more neo-traditional view of witch craft if you're interested in astral travel or astral projection but from more of a trad witch's perspective if you're interested in learning more about witch flight and traveling the other worlds and otherworldly sorcery this book might be for you of course, if you do get my book, I would absolutely love to hear what you think of it. So if you make a review video, make sure that you tag me because I would love to hear what you have to say. My next items are from Michael's Craft Store. And what I got is a couple of these wax cubes. So this one is apple cider, which you can see I've already broken into. And this one is harvest pumpkin. I absolutely love all the fall scents and I'm so ready for fall to be here. I also got myself this jewelry chain. I have a gold pentacle that was on a very long chain that I would wear as a piece of sort of sacred coven jewelry, but my chain actually kind of started coming apart because it was really old. And so I wanted to get another one and I also wanted to make it a little bit longer. Um, because it's my ritual pentagram necklace, I like it to kind of come down almost to like my upper stomach. So I got this long chain for that. And then another thing that I got from Michaels, and this is funny, and actually the person checking us out was kind of laughing. Um, I was with one of my coven mates when we were there and we were talking about this and they kind of overheard us, but they have these awesome coffin boxes, which I like to use in my practice for things. Maybe I'll make a video on that as well, but I picked up about five of these. I like to just have these on hand should the need arise. I think it's always better to be prepared than to be unprepared. It's better to have what you don't need than need what you don't have. And Michael sells these for like $2.99. So pick some up if you're at Michael's, stock up and keep a couple of coffins on hand, which... So another thing that I got recently was actually a gift from one of my coven mates and it's hereditary witchcraft. I know the glare is really bad, sorry. This is that book from Raven Gramassi. This is a very foundational book, I feel like, within just the modern witchcraft revival movement. And it's definitely worth a read if you have not read it already. Um, this copy is super gorge and I'm excited to have it on my bookshelf. The next items I got are from Shein, which I know that Shein is not for everybody. Um, is Shein ethical? Probably not, right? Um, if that is something that you want to be conscious of, probably not the website that you should be purchasing from. It is a lot of fast fashion and that doesn't really necessarily sit right with me either, but neither does Amazon and I also purchase things from Amazon. I feel like it's all of our responsibility to make choices around our own ethics and I do not fault anyone for not ordering from Shein. Like if you are not comfortable with it, if you do not want to order from there, don't. But do know that these products are from Shein. Also, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a try on haul for these. I'm gonna show you them in this video, but there also might be clips later of me wearing some of these outfits, but that also sounds like a lot of work and I'm chunky and out of shape and I feel like I'm gonna overheat, but I might do that, we'll see. Now for this portion of the video, I was kind of inspired by another creator on here. Lee Ann's Witchy Room is, I believe, their channel name. They have some really, really cute sort of witchy and alternative clothing hauls. Um, so definitely go check out their videos. They're amazing. And she wears the clothes in the videos and shows you what they look like on. I think Leanne is a little shorter than me but I still really enjoy watching them. Um, now for myself, keep in mind that if I do a try on haul, I am six foot and stacked, okay? So that's what these clothes are gonna look like on me. So if the clothes look long on me as someone who's six foot tall, if you are 
you know, shorter, they're going to be like flooding on you. So just kind of keep that in mind. Whenever I watch uh, clothing hauls, I try to pay attention to like what the person's height and weight is, um, just to make sure that if I go and purchase that, I can expect how it's going to fit on me. So I'm six foot and stacked. I'm 250 pounds and six feet tall. I, for whatever reason, like when I make friends online and then meet them in person, they're always kind of shocked and like surprised as to like what a big woman I am. Um, and I don't take offense to that. I really actually love my plus size body. So I don't know if I come off differently on camera or what, but yeah, if we meet in person, expect to be meet by a six foot stacked Glamazonian. So the first item I'm gonna show you, I've actually already worn in some videos. It's one of my new favorite tops. I believe that this was maybe $8. Um, it's like a stretchy, almost like bodycon-like material, and it's a corset top. This zipper is functional and goes all the way down. It has this really cute sort of like lace trim, and these laces can be tightened to make it even more body contouring. Um, very plus size friendly. It's very stretchy. I think that these go all the way up to maybe a 4X. Um, I'm not sure though. And I believe, yeah, I got this from Shein. Also got a Timu order. So some of this could be from Timu too, which is kind of in a similar boat to Shein. So just keep that in mind that some of these items actually could be Timu or Shein. But if you go look at plus size gothic, women's clothing, which is what I search for typically, you will find this pop up. So the next item that I got is actually a skirt. Um, and it's just a very simple black skirt. It's like that stretchy sort of t-shirt material. I think something like this is just a nice staple to have. I think it can be really dressed up or down. I have a couple of black skirts already, but they all, I realize, have little fixtures on them. Like one of them has some paneling of a different color. It's not just solid black. And then another one has like buttons on it. And I just wanted like a very basic skirt. So I got this. It kind of just looks like a big square, but because it's stretchy, when it's actually on, it's much more contouring to your shape. I will say that body shape is another thing to look at when you are looking at try-on hauls. Um, different garments are going to look different on different people. And websites like Shein or Timu or Amazon are notorious for Photoshopping these models' bodies, or not even having the models actually wearing the clothing, and instead they're just photoshopped on the silhouette. So pay attention to that. If you're pear-shaped, hourglass, apple-shaped, triangle-shaped, whatever, just pay attention to that because you wanna make sure that you're getting clothes that you're going to feel comfortable in. I know that for myself, I'm kind of hourglassy-ish, but I'm very, very much plus size. Also have broader shoulders and a bigger front and back, kind of like a capital P and an upside down capital P put together. Um, however, I'm also six feet tall. So sometimes even the curvy plus stuff is a little too short on me. I know that this skirt might look kind of long, but on my six foot sort of hourglassy kind of frame, um, this is quite short to the point where I might even really need to wear leggings underneath it. Now that same exact material, I also got a dress, which this is just like a basic sort of maxi dress. It's made out of the exact same material. And this dress on me hits me just above my ankles. Um, the dress is like just strappy maxi dress. It's a very much basic, everyday, comfortable, breathable maxi dress. Um, you can also kind of ruche it up because of the material that it is. So if you wanna wear it more like a shorter club style dress, or if you wanna wear it as it's intended to be, like a full body contouring maxi, you can do that too. But I also think that it would be a great sort of around the house dress just to be comfortable, but also not quite like looking, you know, like you're just wearing a muumuu, like if you wanna be a little cuter, but also 
kind of just be lounging around the house, it's comfortable enough to do that in. I've laid on the couch, read books, just kind of sat around and been a couch potato in this dress and been perfectly comfortable. But I also think that if you layered like a cute little corset belt or something over this, it would be super, super cute. And you could also kind of dress it up to go out in. And speaking of belts, I also got this waist chain, which has like these really cute little silver moons on them. Um, I was a little bit nervous about the waist chains because when you're ordering from Shein or Timu, oftentimes things can run really small. So even if you're not necessarily considered plus size, which I think starts at size 14 in the States, you might wanna consider that um, because oftentimes like, if I'm ordering stuff that is coming from the Far East, I need to order a three or a four X when I'm usually here in the States, a one or a two X. So just keep that in mind. I will say that this waist chain that I got is very much plus size girly, curvy girly friendly. And I think things like this can really dress up that maxi dress I just showed you or the skirt or other items. I also got one that's exactly like that, but instead of moons, it has coiled sort of figure eight serpents and skulls. I don't know what I've done with it. I can't find it. If I find it, I will post a picture or a quick little video somewhere in here of it. This next item I got is one of the items that I was probably the most excited about just because I think it's so fun and I've not seen anything like it. This is a peasant sleeve ruffly, frilly, lacy, half cardigan sort of sweater thing. Um, it's different. So instead of it being a full cardigan, like this is the back of it. It's just a little sort of, I don't even know what you call this. It's not quite a cardigan, but you, you put it on, you know, over a dress or over a piece of clothing or whatever. And it gives you instant witchy goth peasant sleeves. I think that this was on Shein under the like gothic cottage core. Um, really comfortable, really cute. And I really feel like this will be a great layering piece to dress up like that black maxi dress I just was showing you or any other outfits that I just want sort of a witchy, whimsy, gothic sort of flair to. The sleeves are really fun and they have like this little detailing here. They're kind of see-through. I feel like this material sometimes can actually be really warm and make me kind of hot and gross and sweaty. Um, but I don't know. I haven't worn this out yet and for an extended period of time, so I'm not really sure. But like, come on, don't you just live for this? I feel like I kind of have a trend here with some of the stuff that I got because I got a lot of layering pieces. So this next piece is a skirt. Um, it has an elastic -y sort of waistband. And this is another like layering piece. I thought this would be really cute to like layer over the black skirt I got or even the maxi dress or I mean anything. Um, I think that this is fun. It's like very whimsy. Um, it's see-through. So like when I wear it, I can kind of show off like my uh, calf and thigh pieces, which I'm working on a whole sleeve for my right leg. So that's a work in progress. I want to get a black Philip. Um, dedication piece. So maybe that'll be soon. I'm getting some work redone on my arm currently. So that probably won't be till later, but I'm just ready to like have a leg sleeve and be like that girl with the leg sleeve. You know what I mean? But yeah, live, laugh, lurking this. This is pretty long. Um, like I said, I'm six foot tall and on me, this comes all the way down to like almost the heels of my feet. So on someone who's shorter than me, this is definitely gonna be long. When I wear this, I wear this pretty much at my waist and it's still that long. So if you order this, you might wanna think about like hemming it or something if you're a little bit shorter because it's definitely gonna be really long. The next item that I got is another skirt. Um, this is a maxi skirt and it's actually kind of mermaidy shaped, but I'm just not able to show it very well here on camera. Um, it's kind of like a soft jersey material. But yeah, just like a very simple 
layering black maxi. And then the next item I got is, it looks kind of scandalous. Um, it's not. Well, maybe it is, but to me it's not. So this is, it has like a little bat charm and it has kind of like a built-in um, frame to it. Um, it's like a dark red with like a black mesh over it and it has stripes. And then actually in the back, it's completely see-through. This might look like a bralette or a bra. Um, however, at least when it's on me, it definitely looks just more like a tank. It looks short and it definitely does show like a little bit of midriff. So if that's not your thing, this probably wouldn't be for you, but I really like it a lot. And I think it'll look cute with like the high-waisted skirt or the maxi or whatever, right? And I love the little bat. So I got this. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you guys what the prices were on some of these things. Everything clothing wise that I've gotten, I know is under $10. So not very expensive. And the last thing I will be showing you guys in this haul, and this is kind of ridiculous, but I'm going to the Midwest Witches Ball September 30th, which is in New Albany, Indiana. So if you're around the Louisville area or the Southern Indiana area, I would love to meet with you if you would like to get a drink or coffee or whatever. It'd be really cool to see some of you while I'm down there. The ball this year's theme is tarot. And so I'm going as the devil from RWS Tarot. I already have my dress and I have like a headpiece, but I needed some wings. However, all the wings I could find online were like $60 plus, and I just need them for one occasion and I have no idea what I would do with them after. However, so I looked on, I think this was Shein, and I found these, which are actually for like little kids. Um, I tried them on, they do fit, but they're dragon wings. Shut up, how cute is this? I just think these are super cute. They have like the little elastic straps and yeah, so the devil in the RWS depiction has wings. Baphomet sometimes is featured with wings, not always featured with wings. The sabbatic goat is featured with wings, sometimes not. I wanted to wear the wings just because I feel like it would be like an extra layer of like serving the devil, you know what I mean? for the ball and serving, I mean, in a sense of like work with an E, not work with an O, like working, not working, right? Do you get it? Oh yeah, and I also totally forgot to mention that I got this candle holder. Um, I think I got this from Shein for like $10, but it's super similar to that Bath and Body Works candle holder that was like 25 or 30. So I'm taking this as a huge win and I'm gonna be having it on my uh, sabbatical altar for the fall equinox and also probably for Samhain or Witches' Night. Anyways, that is going to be all for this video. Um, it's already at 37 minutes, so it's going to be super fun for me to edit this down. I can't wait. I'm so excited. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think um, of the stuff I got. Uh, let me know if you like these sort of videos. Um, I really want to do a Spirit Halloween haul. And the reason why I had put this off for so long is because I was trying to wait until I got some stuff from Spirit Halloween. However, I just, I don't have time. I'll probably be making a separate Spirit Halloween haul specifically later. Um, but yeah, I hope that you all are doing well. And until next time, blessed be, and I will see you in hell.